There's Audrey Powers. A big hug from her sister. <laughs> Captain Kirk himself, the great William Shatner. Our customer, Chris Bosshaus, in the first full Australian citizen to go to space and back. And Glenn DeVries. Some big hugs from their loved ones. Taking in the moment clearly. <laughs> what you have built. If everybody in the world needs to be. <laughs> everybody in the world needs to see. The, uh, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, the, the little things of weightlessness. But to see the blue cover go whip by, and now you're staring into black. That's the thing. The covering of blue, this, this sheet, this blanket, this, com this comforter of blue that we have around. We think, oh, it's blue sky. And then suddenly you shoot through it all of a sudden, as so though you whip off a sheet off you when you're asleep, and you're looking into blackness, into black ugliness. And you look down, and there's the blue down there, and the black up there, and it's, it's just, there is mother and earth and comfort, and there's, is there death? I don't know. Is that death? Is that the way death is? Whoop, and it's gone. Chase. It was so moving to me. This experience has been something unbelievable. You see, yeah, you know, uh, weightless, my stomach went up, and I thought, ah, this is so weird. But not as weird as the covering of blue. This is what I never expected. Oh, it's one thing to say, oh, the sky and the thing and the fragile thing. It's all true. But what isn't true, what, what is unknown, until you do it, is there's this pillow, there's this soft blue. Look at the beauty of that color. And it's so thin. And you're through it in an instant. It's what a... How, how, how thick is it? We know. I mean, the atmosphere, is it a mile? Two no, miles? I mean, it's, I mean, it depends on how you measure because it thins out, but maybe 50 miles. Not but even. you're going yeah. 2,000 miles an hour. So you're through 50 miles of whatever the mathematics is. Fast. Are. Yeah, really You know, fast. it's like a beat and a beat, and suddenly you're through the blue. And, then it's and you're into black. And you're into, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's mysterious and galaxies and things. But what you see is black. And what you see down there is light. And that's the difference. And not to have this, you have done something. I mean, whatever those other guys are doing, what it, what isn't, they don't, I don't know about that. What you have given me is the most profound experience I can imagine. It's, uh, I'm so filled with emotion about what just happened. I, I just, it's extraordinary, extraordinary. Sorry. Sorry. I hope I never recover from this. I hope that I can uh, maintain what I feel now. I, I don't want to lose it. It's so, it's 
so much larger than, than me and life. And it hasn't got anything to do with the little green plant and the blue orb. And the, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the enormity and the quickness and the suddenness of life and death of the all my God. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, yes, beautiful in its way, but... No, I mean your words. Oh, my words. It's just amazing. I don't know. I can't even begin to express what... I, I, what I would love to do is to communicate as much as possible the, the jeopardy, the, 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 the moment you see how vo the vulnerability of everything. It's so small. This air, which is keeping us alive, is, is thinner than your skin. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a sliver. It's, it's immeasurably small when you think in terms of the of the universe. It's a, it's not it's negligible. This air, Mars doesn't have it. Right there, nothing. I mean, this and way and when you think way carbon dioxide change to oxygen and what is it twenty percent or something mm -hmm. that level it sustains our life. It's so thin mm -hmm. to to. To dirty it. I mean, that's another whole thing. And you subject. shoot through, what you were saying about shooting through it so fast. So quickly, 50 miles. And then of, you're of, just in blackness. 